The Honda CRV has long been the best seller in the C segment SUV class here in Malaysia, and rightly so. It's always got the right combination of good looks, usable performance, extremely practical interior, and in the case of the fifth generation model, rather premium interior as well. Now we have a new CRV Black Edition. So let's see what this is all about. Starting with the price, the CRV Black Edition goes for 162,000 ringgit. That may not be the cheapest car in the class, but considering this car's size and equipment, that is pretty good value. This is based on the mid-level CRV 1.5T premium two-wheel drive version. Of course, there is the more expensive four-wheel drive version, but this is the de facto flagship model for the CRV. Customers are seeing little to no reason to pay extra for four-wheel drive, especially for a road bias SUV like the CRV. The fifth generation CRV was launched in Malaysia in 2017 and it was given a facelift in 2020. But I'm not sure whether it's the time warping effect of COVID or not, but this does not look like a four year old design. It still looks fresh and in my head, I still refer to it as the brand new CRV. The black edition adds on very subtle additions to the car's looks. As the name suggests, it's all themed in black. The wheels are now in black and there are small black touches to the front grille and the lower bumper as well as the rear bumper. As a whole, I think it looks really good. It really plays on the black smoke defect of the taillights as well as the black chrome bits on the front headlamps. But at the same time, I do like the fact that they've kept the chrome bits around the car as well. It really pops with the full black background now. The fully black theme is adopted for the interior as well. Most of the silver bits around the steering wheel, the base of the gear lever, the aircon controls are now fully black. A nice addition is the change of the wood trim. Before this, it was this bright wood trim. It is now replaced by a black wood trim instead. Now, this is a really nice way of conforming to the fully black rule set, but while still keeping certain premium touches to the whole interior. I think this looks a lot better than a full piano black finish on the entire car. Making your interior fully black is a very common thing among new car owners. They call it the blackout effect. They do this by, you know, wrapping it yourself or even sending it to a wrap shop to change all the bits into black. But by doing that, there's always a risk of, you know, one or two bracket snapping. That may lead to annoying rattles later on along the way. That is not ideal for a brand new car. Having all this done by the factory is a lot more ideal, I think. A much bigger change that you cannot do in the aftermarket is the fully blacked out pillars and headlining. This gives the car a much more sporty, much more premium look and feel overall. Well, technically you can do this in the aftermarket, but that's going to cost you a lot of money. One last thing is the black edition embroidery on the front seats, which really fit the rest of the nice premium cabin. As mentioned earlier, the fifth generation CRV has really upped the ante when it comes to the interior of C segment SUVs. You now have a fully digital instrument cluster, a very nice head unit with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a remote engine start system, really nicely upholstered and comfortable front seats, and both of the seats, not just the drivers, are fully power adjustable. The best thing is they've done this without compromising the practicality factor of the CRV. The center armrest is still as deep as ever and as configurable as ever before. The CRV is still, without a doubt, the most practical car in the class by far. When it comes to the rear seats, the CRV's practicality advantage over the rest of its rivals really takes off. In terms of legroom, headroom, and the large side windows, this is unbeatable in the class. This, I think, is the CRV's biggest strength. If you're buying a car like this, if you're buying it for yourself, you may find cars that are slightly more exciting to drive. But if you're buying a car for the family, which if you're looking for an SUV, I'm guessing you are. This definitely deserves to be at the top of your buying list. It's the same story with the boot as well. The CRV has by far the biggest, most practical boot in the class. And the boot is also fully powered with a kick sensor as well. 
But as practical as it is, the CRV is no slouch to drive either. Under the hood is a 1.5 litre VTEC turbo engine, and for the CRV, it has been up tuned to make 193 PS and 243 Newton meters of torque. That is considerably more powerful than a 2.4 or a 2.5 litre naturally aspirated engine. Plus, you get to take advantage of Malaysia's unique road tax system. And on to safety, the CRV is class leading as well. It's got the full suite of active safety systems, including autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, crucially with low speed follow. That means this car practically drives itself in a traffic jam, of course, useful for Malaysian roads, as well as Honda Lane Watch. Like I said, this is not a cheap, affordable car, but considering its size and its specs, it is pretty good value. So that's the new Honda CR-V Black Edition. The changes are very subtle, but the overall effect is very meaningful, I think. Honda Malaysia has sold around 45,000 units of this last generation Honda CR-V. So buying a special edition one goes a long way in making yours look and feel more unique among the rest. So what do you think of the CR-V Black Edition? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and stay safe, everyone.